All right, we got the Warlock Pro 85 here. And what I did was I took the bottom housing off where the battery gets inserted because it only fits a certain size battery. So I've taken that out. I put a rubber band around the whole quadcopter so I can put any kind of battery that I want, any size anyways. I put a little foam pad on the bottom and we're gonna leave that uh, 2S balance uh, port alone. And we're just gonna use this uh, batteries that have the 2S balance port. All right, so let's go for a little flight with the Warlock Pro 85. Plugging it in, Oop, plug it in the right way. Okay. That should be bound and All right. Oh, the flying characteristics are very similar to the Warlock 80. But now we have brushless motors. And we are running 2S batteries. Not bad at all. Keeping a nice forward pitch throughout. Ooh, nice little fast turns though. Be careful with the yaw. Hey, not bad. Okay, there's a little bit of wind too and it has no problem fighting the wind. So let's do a little punch out. Not bad. The wind is pushing it back towards me a little bit. So let's do another punch out here. Hey, that is pretty decent for a tiny hoop style designed quadcopter, man. All right. This is gonna be a pretty fun FPV flyer. And a pretty good indoor flyer as well because of all the protection. But a fantastic backyard flyer or your neighborhood park flyer. Oh yeah. Okay, let's go and bring it in. No beeping, so the battery is good. I'm using the battery that came with the King Kongs. The King Kong 110 and King Kong 95 and King Kong 130. That's the battery that I'm using. So let's uh, put another battery on there and go for a little FPV flight with the Warlock Pro 85. It's looking pretty nice, isn't it? All right, we got some OSD on here and we got the uh, horizon bars and stuff. I haven't touched the OSD menu. So let's go and take a little FPV flight with the Warlock Pro 85. Arming. Nice, I would have uh, turned off those horizon bars and stuff because that to me just doesn't quite work for me. Okay, I chickened out on the 100 meter bush for now. Looking pretty good. So far, so good. Not bad. It's got lots of power, lots of control, and the video feed is fantastic too. Minus the horizon bars. There's a little bit of static here, a little bit of static there. Let's make it towards the 100 meter bush and safely turn around. Yep. So 100 meter is no problem with the Warlock Pro 85. Not bad. Nice. And it has the speed as well. Check that out. Not bad for a tiny hoop style quad, huh? Nice, actually. A little flip too. Yep, it is working out. Yep, it flies fantastic. And there's a breeze also, guys. So 
it is fighting the breeze at the same time. With this ducted fan design, it's got enough power and the distance as well. Not bad. And it has control. So let me get out of that bush. Got out of that troubled bush there. That's what I get for flying low. And the wind is blowing too, so it's kind of giving me a little side push once in a while. Not bad. Okay, let me aim for this side right here. Actually, those uh, horizon bars kind of help you <laughs> in your target. That little middle dot kind of helps you where you're going. There you go. I'm going straight. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That's one thing good about the uh, horizon bars. Right there. Yep. Yeah. Hey, this thing is fantastic of a flyer too, man. Not bad at all. That's the wind, that little vibration that you can see. Yeah, this is a nice little flyer. Awesome. Fantastic. Awesome, awesome. Low volts warning. Let's bring it in. I've been flying for four minutes almost. Fantastic fly time. I lost myself in them bushes there. So let's go ahead and give this thing a landing. I cannot stop flying this thing. It's so much fun. All right. Hey, the Warlock Pro 85. A fantastic little flyer.